Our next question would be, true or false, should management be excluded from the sprint retrospective so that the developers of the scrum team can have an open and honest discussion and have a safe environment? What do you think? They should be excluded. During sprint retrospective, things are being discussed about the, the people, their relationships, communication, the work that has been done and the quality that has been achieved. And if there would be a manager involved or management involved, uh, we would take away that openness and safety to maybe also admit your mistakes and your failures and the challenges that you've had. And if there's a manager present, um, I think it would, be, would feel less psychological safety for all team members to share their real uh, challenges, failures. Yeah. What if in the case that the, the process, the collaboration with management is hampering us in delivering value, could we say, well, in the first half hour, this is our specific topic, we want to discuss this mm -hmm. with you. We're going to invite you as a manager. You come in for that half hour, we go through this, see what we can do with this, and then the manager goes out again. That's a good question. Um, I would not recommend it because it does something to the feeling of the team when a management manager is present. I would rather have him or her attend at the last five minutes so yeah. they first can freely talk about everything that they uh, that they want to discuss and then after uh, after a sprint retrospective or at the end ask the manager to join if there's anything that he or she needs to know all right so summarizing that answer to the question true or false should the management be excluded from our sprint retrospectives yes as much as possible Technically, we could invite them to try to create as much as a safe environment as possible so that we can speak openly and freely and thoughts can flow. Hopefully that helps.